we're at the beach house. I have all my toiletries in here and I wanted to just tell you guys because I think I did my teeth whitening strips in an unboxing and then I didn't try them out with you, but I brought them to the beach house and I also brought my Sensodyne toothpaste because I need this when I whiten my teeth. So if you have sensitive teeth, one, I again would re recommend using a Sensodyne toothpaste for like two to three weeks before you whiten your teeth so that your teeth build up resistance to, se to sensitivity. You know what I'm saying. And then I just brought one strip with me. Again, it's the Crest 3D White Strips with in the sensitive formula. First time I did it, it bothered me, but I'm gonna give you my tricks as to how it doesn't bother me anymore. So I have not brushed my teeth yet today. That might be disgusting, but I do this before I brush my teeth. So I'm gonna put these in for 30 minutes. And I like to make sure my mouth isn't like wet. I hope that makes sense, kind of gross, but I want it to be like on somewhat dry teeth. So there is a long strip and a short strip. I'm sure you've seen white strips before, but just in case. I'm gonna do this in the camera. And I like to push it into the teeth <laughs> before I fold them over. I hope this is good because I can't see. And then I literally put a timer on for 30 minutes. ASAP Rocky. I'm gonna do a 28 minute timer because it took me like two minutes to find my phone. And like, that's how serious I am with the timing. Like I do not leave these on for longer than 30 minutes. Continue cleaning the house. That's literally what we're doing. We're at the beach house so that we can shower and we're just like cleaning. And I didn't realize how dirty the house is. Do not tell Mike that I said this because he literally every year, like right before Labor Day is like, we have to come back. We have to come down, we have to clean. And I'm like, it's so clean in here, but like, I was scrubbing the fridge. The fridge is, it looks like a thousand people have touched that fridge. Um, so I'm glad we're cleaning. Take them out, like literally as soon as the alarm goes off, I rip them off. Throw them out. I rinse my mouth out and I highly recommend using some certain toothpaste and a soft bristled brush straight away, but if you don't have this, then get water in your mouth and like scrub your teeth with a clean finger. You just wanna get any of the whitening off of your teeth because again, the longer you leave the white strip on, the more it's gonna make your teeth sensitive. So I just make sure to get everything off. So there's, you can feel there's no gel on my teeth, but I have my toothpaste and my toothbrush. So I'm gonna make sure this is wet. I like to use warm water. I don't know, in my brain, the warm water kind of just like cleans everything off better. Sensodyne toothpaste. And I'm gonna brush my teeth for the day. And these are my white teeth. They're like so much whiter than they were. And I think I've used six strips out of the 18 at this point. And I normally do them every other day. That's another tip from me to you. If you have really sensitive teeth, don't do it every day. Take a day or two in between each strip session and that will definitely help you. But my teeth are so much whiter. I'm so happy. Even Mike said the other day that my teeth are so much whiter. I will link everything down below, but honestly, Sensodyne, game changing and making sure you get every itty bit of gel off of your teeth once the 30 minutes is done is also ideal. I was editing my video. We collectively made a mistake and gave the wrong information. Well, maybe it was me, I don't know. But you went along with my mistake. But you know that that um, cork that Bailey bought us that we were like, well, at least I was like, oh, it's an aerator. Like it makes the wine taste better. It's for olive oil. It's not for wine. So it's definitely not an aerator. So it works pretty good with wine. But it works really good with wine and I think <laughs> we'll continue to use it with the wine. But now looking back on it, like the gift set, she bought us olive oil, there was no wine in it. So go us. Go us. <laughs> <sighs> I bought a ton of stuff on Amazon. I bought a lot of clothes because I just need like basics. And honestly, that brown dress that I bought, I loved the quality. I just didn't really like the dress on me. So I shopped that brand, Rioria, Roria. They make like skims like dresses. You guys saw the dress that 
I bought on Amazon. I thought my body looked amazing in it and then I got it hemmed and I just realized that it wasn't me. But that's okay because I bought a bunch of other stuff that are hopefully, fingers crossed, me. I did my makeup. I have my little like changing dress on. Honestly, our heater broke, our water heater broke and I'm freezing. So I took a freezing cold shower and then I got out of the shower. I threw my dressing robe on, my Ugg robe, which honestly Mike bought this for me for Christmas. Was it last year or the year before? I loved it so much. He then bought me, actually he bought me the gray one first and then he bought me this one, but I own two of these. These are like the warmest, so soft. Like, can you see the inside? I highly recommend for a gift. This is a great idea. It's like a full length robe. I'm gonna throw some undergarments on and let's try on some of the outfits. I think I wanna try on the sets first. I've just become this 30 something year old woman, which is weird where when I love something, I buy it in multiple colors. So I bought this lounge set, I loved it. I bought it in a cream color. You guys saw, if you watched my home goods unboxing video with my husband, it was the two set, two piece set that I was wearing. I got grease all over it. I bought the same set, but in darker colors in hopes that I won't ruin it because I'm a slob kebab. It's just, it comes with the territory. I've been loving brown lately, which you guys all know, like, dark chocolate brown, like the brown of my nails, has really been my color. I'm gonna show you this set. I honestly wish it was a darker brown, like the shade of my nails. It's kind of like a milk chocolate brown, and I'm in my dark chocolate era craving. That's what I'm craving, dark chocolate. But I just, I love these sets. They're great to just hang out in the house in. The pants fit me really well. I'm five foot two, so I'm short, and these just like grays the top of my foot so these fit me perfectly and honestly I can just roll them up one too if I want them to be a little bit shorter you see how that made them shorter but I just like the detailing it's like a high low I like that the arms match the sides it's just this is going to be my throw on and like work from home kind of an outfit so what do we think if you're looking for a lounge set that's just like comfortable and I would just like throw my robe over this this is a good option. I do wish that it came in long sleeves for the winter, but it is what it is. Here is the dark green. I honestly think I like the dark green one better, but out of all of them, my favorite one is definitely the cream one. I'm just too dangerous to be wearing cream when around the house because when I'm home, I just like get into food. I get into cleaning. So this is the dark green. I definitely think that this one looks a little bit more expensive than the brown one. I'm sorry if it's a mess. I'm not really looking at what's around me and this is real life. It's Sunday and I'm just decluttering, throwing things. Um, but I definitely think I like this one better. However, I do think I'm gonna keep them both just because I think this two piece set is like 30 bucks, which is a steal and they're just comfortable and it's kind of just like an elevated pajama. Like I'm not gonna sleep in these, but I'll just like work from home in these. So I own this in a cream. I'm gonna own this in this green and then I'm gonna own it in that dark brown. Um, and this lip, because I just, I feel like I keep looking at myself in the monitor because this lip is just so good. You know, I love to mix a high low lip. So I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury in Pink Venus. This lip cheat is her lip pencil. It's like a bright pink. It's really pretty with this color though. Cover Girl, Clean Fresh Lip Balm. This is my favorite shade. It's in Made for Peach. Look at that color. It's so good. Mm, I love this. Honestly, this has become one of my favorite lip products. Before I even put them on though, I have to say like these jeans, I just have to show you how amazing they are. If you could feel how soft they are, Hudson makes the best jeans. I'm pretty sure this is in their Jody style. And I got them hemmed, but it's literally just like a raw hemline. Oh my God, look at that. It's amazing. They're amazing. Okay, now if you saw my brown dress that I got from this brand, you will know that this is very much inspired by it. I love this chocolate brown. I'm definitely gonna keep this top. However, I'm not really loving crop tops. I just feel like something has happened, which it's pretty funny because my husband for the longest time would like tease me that I just, I love crop tops. And then I hit 30 and honestly, not that this has to do with anything, but I just don't like crop tops anymore. So I will have to wear this with high-rise jeans. I wish this was just like a little bit longer 
but otherwise the color is impeccable. I love the color. I don't love the raw hemline here, but it fits me really well on the shoulders. It's very comfortable, but like snug. But I don't feel like a sausage in it. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I love this color. I just think that this color, color is really flattering for me. And I think if I were to put a belt on, it might ride up a little bit, but it's not bad. I just, I don't really love crop tops, but look at this. I just love this color so much. And this was like, I think this was like 20 bucks. It's a cute basic. What do we think? Okay, let me know your thoughts about this. I think I'm gonna return this. I don't know. I saw this and it made me think of like diesel or something. I just, the raw hemline is really cool. And I like how it's like structured, but it's also a crop top. And I knew that these were crop tops. I just, I don't know, what do we think? Is this weird? I kind of like it, but I just like don't know if I'm gonna gravitate towards it. Like I feel like this might be something that I keep and then I just like never wear, but it is really cool and it's definitely different. I just don't know if I love this or if I hate this. Like I just, I don't know if this fits me correctly. I think I'm gonna return this. But do be sure to let me know. Like I don't hate it. I just, I feel like it's not what I envisioned, you know? This is so soft like this is the exact material that that dress is in it's like that really thin but warm and just like soft i wish you could feel how soft this is i'm definitely keeping this also a crop top but it's not like super cropped it's like a midriff cropped but i do really like this i like the color it's like an olive green really flattering i like the turtleneck i love a turtleneck mike and brian my brother-in-law call me steve jobs all the time because i always love a turtleneck i love to rock a turtleneck this is really cute i might have to get this in other colors very comfortable and it fits me really well like i just feel like the this brand fits me well because the shoulders are just like right where they're supposed to be oh i love this yeah definitely keeping this. I love this color. I love the design of this, how it just like, it, this fits my chest right. And normally these kind of tops that have like the bustier kind of like imprint are usually like here on me, which makes no sense because I don't even have a big chest. What do we think about this? I love the color. I don't know how I like it up here though. I just feel like it might be a little bit bunchy. But like, what do we think? Is this just a good staple to like wear underneath things? I love the color. I love the design. I just don't like this on me. So I think I'm going to return this one. So I think I'm keeping everything aside from this and this top. I think I'm going to return these two. But honestly, guys, this brand is amazing. Really nice quality for like 20 to 30 bucks. I think every top was like 20, $30. They feel warm and they just like hug you, but like in the best way. I bought these two from Amazon. These are the NYX fat oils. I bought them because a subscriber commented and said that I should try them. I recently bought my Dior. It's underneath that pile of shit, isn't it? I splurged on that and that's like a $40 lip oil and it's really good, I like it. Do I think it's worth $40? I don't think so, but one of my subscribers told me to buy the NYX lip oils. They look very, very similar, but this one is a little bit more red and this one is a little bit more pink. Let's swatch them. Newsfeed, so this is the more red shade and these look a lot, oh my God, it has the same applicator as my Dior one. I will get it out, I promise. Um, okay, we need to find the Dior one. This looks good to me. Like it's just, oh my God. Do these smell like anything? Oh my God, they smell like Jolly Ranchers. Okay, so this is a newsfeed. That is a really pretty color. And then I'm gonna swatch this pinker one. This is Mist Call which I am famous for always having missed calls. I like never, I always have my Apple watch on, but I never have my phone with me. I never know where my phone is. That is to die for. This is really giving me a Dior feels. This is like a cool toned pink. And this one is more of like a rosy shade. And honestly, they remind me a lot of the two Dior colors that I have. This one reminds me of my 001 where it has that cool toned pink shade to it. And then this one looks like the rosewood lip oil that I wore yesterday. 
Let me find lip oil and let's compare just because we have to. We're sitting here and I have to know. So why not just share? This is what I do. This is why you should watch the vlogs because I'm a very impatient person and I can't wait to do things. So chances are, if I've been saying like, stay tuned for this video and you don't want to stay tuned, like I'm probably just gonna jump the gun and show you whatever it is. Oh God, I made such a mess though. Oh, okay. So this is a very old Michael Kors bag, which I have been wearing nonstop, just like the leather is so soft. I don't know, and I was gonna get rid of it and I was gonna sell it on Poshmark. But then I realized I don't have this color bag in my collection. So I think I'm gonna keep it now. I think it's in my pouchette. Here's my Dior lip glow. Again, this is in rosewood. This formula, when you take it out, the Dior one isn't as thin as the NYX one. Like the next one, I feel like you need to be a little bit more careful, but like, look at the doe foot. Are these like not identical? I think the Dior one's a little bit fatter and it's a little bit more fluffier, but like that's pretty damn, that's pretty damn close. Honestly, guys, granted, I have to put the NYX ones on my lips, but they are so much more pigmented than the Dior one. The Dior one just gives like a kiss of color Whereas NYX is kind of just like more in your face. But honestly, do those not all look like they could be related? I feel like those look like they could be related. How they swatch doesn't necessarily dictate how they perform. And I feel like now that this NYX one is drying down, this color is a little bit patchy. It's not as like fluid. And that's the more red one, right? Newsfeed. But again, I mean, hey, these are like $8, all right? And this is like $40, so. We shall see. I can't wait. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on just because why the hell not? It smells like my childhood. Mm, that's nice. What do we think? That's pretty. I definitely think I'm gonna like this one more. Missed call more than the red one. Ooh, but that is so pretty. Oh my God, yes. Um, I love these. I love a good drugstore find. And I just felt like I had to show you the outfit of the day. I have not stopped wearing this tank top. I think I got this tank top from Old Navy or The Gap. The Gap, oh my God, I love it. It's like really soft. I like the thicker kind of like spaghetti straps. I like the O neck, whatever that is. Um, and it's really comfy. It's like a great white tank. And then obviously my Hudson jeans that I just showed you. And then this is a cardigan that I rented from Rent the Runway. You guys know I love Rent the Runway. It is expensive. I spend about $150 a month, but I get eight different pieces. And I just find like it's so sustainable because I get really sick of clothes. And I want to love sweaters, but I don't love sweaters enough to buy them. So it's just great because I can rent a bunch of sweaters. Highly recommend if you're thinking about having pieces in your wardrobe that you would rotate out. It's a lot of fun. It's like shopping. It is shopping. And it is kind of a little bit of work because you do get two swaps within a month and you need to, you know, pick the items. Yep, yeah, so this is the outfit of the day. I'm just gonna hang out at home, um, probably declutter, get rid of some stuff. I've been purging, you know? That's how I've been channeling my nervous energy, just purging all my belongings. Dun, 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 dun. I've been on the hunt. I think you could tell what it is, right? We could just chalk it up to the fact that this is a pair of shoes. I've been on the hunt for new shoes. I just feel like all the shoes that I have are extremely old. I've had a lot of my, like honestly, like 80% of the shoes that I own are from college and that's fine and that's dandy. And honestly, I think it speaks volumes to the quality of the shoes that I decided to invest my money in. Not all of them are expensive. I have shoes from Ann Taylor. I have shoes, a lot of shoes from Macy's. Like a lot of things I bought that weren't expensive and I got them on sale and they've just lasted me a lifetime. But I don't know what it is. I feel like I've been talking a lot about this and I feel like I kind of sound like a broken record. But ever since turning 30, I just feel like my taste has changed. And so I kind of want to get rid of all of like the more fun, vibrant bright shoes and you're gonna laugh when you see these these are not really like vibrant in terms of colors but they're a little loud so i don't know i just anywho 
I'm just like purging and going through things and getting rid of things and just I want to find that like capsule collection that I am just like craving right now. So Mike and I went to the mall. I don't know if I told you guys this, but very quickly, I watch a lot of YouTube videos when I walk on the treadmill. You guys know I walk on the treadmill every day. I tend to walk between 30 and 30 minutes to an hour, and it just helps to release my endorphins, to release my stress, all that kind of stuff. I just really enjoy walking. But when I'm walking, I watch YouTube videos, and I watch a lot of fashion vloggers like Tamara and Victoria and Freya Killen. I love all of their taste. Also, Andrea Ali, she is a makeup artist, but she does dabble kind of like into fashion things. Like today, when I was on the treadmill, I watched her What's In My... No, it wasn't really What's In Her Bag because she didn't really show what was in the bag, but she showed like her five favorite bags that were all black designer bags. If you know me, I love shoes, but most of all, I love handbags. I just watch these vloggers and I tend to fall in love with the things that they buy. So Tamara and Victoria showed these Saint Laurent heels. I went to the store, I had to try them on because they were like beautiful. Oh my God, they were so uncomfortable and my foot looked so wild in them. Victoria also bought a pair of YSL booties. They screamed my name, black booties with a gold heel. I love black and gold. That's like my nighttime aesthetic, just an all black outfit with gold accents. I tried the boots on and oh my God, my toes were like screaming for air. So I went to YSL and I tried those shoes on and they did not work for me. Fast forward, Mike and I ended up in Gucci and I went in and I tried on some shoes because they were having a sale on shoes, which I think the sale is over now. They were having like 50% off shoes. I asked the woman if they had these slingbacks in this color. Freya bought them recently. And when Freya showed them on her vlog, I was like, oh, my God, I love those shoes. If there's one thing I love about Gucci, my favorite thing about Gucci is the original Gucci kind of like canvas print. I save these ribbons for what purpose? I don't know. I save them and I say that I'm gonna wrap them in my hair or I'm gonna do like a headband with them. I don't do anything with them. I don't do shit with them, but I do keep them. So it comes with, and I feel like this has been the Gucci wrapping for like a very long time now. It just comes with a green ribbon like such. I don't know why you need to see that, but here are the shoes. Putting brand new shoes on the table is bad luck. My mom would yell at me, so I can't do such a thing. You get the dust bags for each shoe, which I love because dust bags are nice, but when you get an individual one per shoe, it just makes sure that you're not putting the both shoes in one bag so then they scuff with each other. You know what I'm saying? It just ensures the safety of them. And these are them. They are so cute. They are, I think they're like a two and a half, three inch heel. Look at how cute they are. They would go so great with this outfit. Look at them. They're a little loud, so I don't know what sophisticated woman in me is um, saying when I say that I want more sophisticated heels, but I tried these on, and after trying on the YSL shoes, these were like a literal breath of fresh air. I own one other pair of Gucci heels. They're like this. They have the bamboo heel. I think they're like the same height, but they don't have the strap. This strap is so comfortable. Let me get the other one out. The only thing I don't love which isn't like a big deterrent for me, but I don't love when shoes have a leather sole because I just feel like the second that you wear them, they get destroyed and also there's no grip. I'm a size 37. That's the size that I bought. These run true to size. And then look at this G. I didn't notice that, but I love that. I kind of want this G on a belt. Tell me your thoughts down below. Do we like them? Do we hate them? They're definitely not quiet luxury, but you know, one might say there's nothing really quiet about me. I love the blunt edge of them. I love this squareness. Let me put them on so I can show you. I hope you can see. But like how cute are these? I just feel like I will wear these all the time. And they're so comfortable. I hope you can see. They're amazing. And I feel like you need a bird's eye view. Like how cute are these? Oh my god. Let me turn for you. I'm sorry, these angles are probably making you dizzy. 
but how oh my god i love they give me like a vintage vibe when we went to gucci i saw that they had these slingbacks but i saw that they were in black they were black mesh and then the g was rhinestones i feel like that's gonna be huge especially for the holidays i saw the sparkly ones and i asked the sales assistant oh my god her name was maria she was so sweet but i asked her if she had the slingbacks in this print and she looked on her phone because i think they do inventory on their phone whatever she had like an iphone and she was looking and she said oh yeah i have your size let me bring them out she was like i'm so glad that you asked me because honestly these are from these i think were released in 2022 so if you have something in mind this also happened to me at louis vuitton a really long time ago i went and i bought my wallet that i think i unboxed with you guys we un unboxed this together but when i bought this wallet i was also in the market for the same print Louis Vuitton belt. It's the same exact print with the LV buckle. And I went and I was looking through the belts and they didn't have it out. But when I bought the wallet, I asked the sales associate at Louis if they had the reversible belt. And he checked on his phone and said, yeah, we have one in the back. So if you're ever at a designer store and you're looking for something specific, even if you don't see it in the store, always ask a sales associate because I'm under the impression that if it is a season prior, they don't leave it out just because that's not like what they're trying to sell. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit older, you never know. What's that saying? It's always no to whatever you don't ask. I wanted to show you this because Mike and I went to Home Goods yesterday. I stumbled upon this and it was on sale. It was like on clearance for five dollars but like look at how cute it has two i'm pretty sure those are cheetahs with like a jungle background and it's black and i don't know if you can see but there's like gold trimming around it i don't know it just looks very expensive to me and so i brought it home and i put it in my closet and it just like matches my dad and his urn green and gold and it just like i don't it just goes with like the aesthetic so i'm very excited about this it had glue all over it not glue but you know it probably had like stickers on it and there was all like i don't know it was just like dried gunk you know like when people peel a sticker off and then that gunk kind of remains but i just used goo gone and i washed it and it came right off and I'm loving this because every night when I come home, obviously this is my closet. So I get undressed in my closet. I'll hang up the clothes that I wore that day if they don't need to be washed. And then I tend to just like take my jewelry off, throw it pretty much here. I'll just throw it a leaf up here. But now I'm thinking when I get home, I'll just throw whatever jewelry I'm wearing that day on this tray when I'm lazy and I don't feel like putting all the things away, but like how cute. I love it. And it's so expensive looking for how cheap it was. But I'll try to find something that's similar, link it down below. But I had to share it because I'm just so excited with how amazing that goes on my shelf. It matches dad, which I think is great. I am gonna end this vlog here. I feel like there was a lot in it and I feel like it was a long one. Let me know down below in the comments. Did you enjoy it? What did you enjoy about it? What didn't you enjoy about it? If there's something that you would specifically like to see from me, like maybe trying on drugstore makeup, whatever, do be sure to let me know down below in the comments. I love to hear what you guys wanna see because obviously I make these videos for you. Um, but yeah, it's Sunday. It's three o'clock. I'm off to shop, right? I think I'm going to cook some chicken carbonara. If you just want a good laugh, because I'm really not, really not good at cooking. I am way much more of a baker. And when I say baker, I make one thing and that is banana bread. But if you want to see the chicken carbonara, I'm going to film that for my next vlog. So make sure you're subscribed to click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I literally feel like I do my makeup on the weekends to just sit in my home and then go to shop right anybody else the simple things in life i love you guys so much thanks for joining me and i really hope to see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.